Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting-edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Time now to get a check of the all-important forecast. And for some particular times when we know we'll be outside, maybe for like three or so hours on Thanksgiving morning on Woodward. Uh, yes, you know, you're is, kind of curious yeah. what it will be like for Santa. Yeah, some people wanted the personalized grandstand forecast. We want to give them the full oh, VIP yeah. experience, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Sometimes Santa brings a few snowflakes from the North Pole with Well, him. you know what? It makes sense. I, that feels Softer like Softer landing. Passing the blame there. <laughs> <laughs> blame the big guy. Right. <laughs> oh, man. So we know that this is a really busy travel week for folks as we are gearing up for the Thanksgiving holiday. So let's start there because we are showing you radar along with airport delays and most of the country, uh, minor delays at most, but San Francisco, different story. In fact, San Francisco International Airport has ground delays averaging about two hours right now. So if you are catching a flight on a metro heading that way, you might want to check your flight. Otherwise, even the snow up in the UP, this system not really impacting the Great Lakes region when it comes to um, all the airports across the area from Minneapolis to Chicago and even here at Metro Detroit. So exact track 40 does show that we have this low pressure system situated just above the Chicago area and this warm front lifting just enough to bring us a few of these scattered light showers. More nuisance rain than anything doesn't amount to a whole lot across southeastern Michigan this, at this lunch hour. But if you look up towards the UP, draped in snow. So if you're heading up north for the holiday, well, you might encounter some accumulating snow up there. Really, as we've been averaging out the less than last uh, 48 hours, we picked up about an inch to almost three inches of snow up in the UP. So you might have a white Thanksgiving up there. Compared to those of us in Southeast Michigan that we do have snow in the forecast, we'll time it out in a moment. Live look outside Southfield where we have drier roads compared to earlier this morning where they were a little damp, but 50 degrees at Metro Airport, 45 in Pontiac, 50 in Gross Seal, 46 in Port Huron. And we have light and variable winds that pick up come to tomorrow. But for today, we're kind of at the peak of the day. Temperatures will stay in the upper 40s over the next several hours and we'll be in and out of a few little scattered rain chances. So let's walk you through the timeline here. So this afternoon, spotty rain chances may be a little more widespread by about 5:30, 6 o'clock, but still just dealing with these off and on showers. Now, once we get to about 11 o'clock at night, we're drying things out. So the overnight tonight into early tomorrow should be dry. And then by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, well, you might have a flake or two up to our northwest, but overall it's going to be a drier day. Just winds picking up and a cooler air mass building in. Let's start with the winds. Winds are going to be shifting coming out of the west tomorrow by 2 a.m. We have wind gusts around 20 miles per hour, 25 miles per hour, but heading into the afternoon tomorrow, we'll see those wind gusts peak between about 30 to 35 miles per hour, and then the winds will be dying down after that. So Wednesday, the busiest of the travel days, mostly cloudy skies, but a mix arrives late. We'll have a high of 41, and this is going to come out of the Chicagoland area. So if you're heading in that direction, just note it starts there first, but by about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Wednesday, rain starts to creep in towards Detroit, and then by 8, 9 o'clock in the evening, as temperatures fall after sunset, that transitions to snow, and that's Snow sticks around until about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning on Thanksgiving morning. So you turkey trotters out there, you could be running in a few flurries. And then as the parade kicks off, those flurries should be winding down. 40 for the afternoon high on the holiday, mostly cloudy skies for Thanksgiving. And then we fall to 35 degrees for your Friday. And then we're right around the freezing mark for highs Saturday and Sunday with a few lake effect flurries.